Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another color grading tutorial and today we're going to be working actually on animating keyframes. It's going to be pretty much straightforward tutorial. I'm not going to be covering actual color grading part uh, that much as I would normally do in my regular color grading tutorials and today we're going to be covering just the keyframe part. So, just like in my previous tutorials, I have this little footage that I've shot a couple years ago on Blackmagic Pocket Camera, I think, for Dorito Contest. And um, let me actually switch the whole project to ACES Color Space, since, you know, in my prognosis, I think ACES is going to be pretty much a new default standard, maybe in a year or two. So let's start working in that color space. That way we kind of know what's going on. So let's go color management and we're going to do, let's see, Blackmagic Design Film and Output Rec 709. Okay, so let's click Yes. And we pretty much have a neutral color grade, pretty much a standard Rec 709. So let's just say I want to do this shot day to night like I did in the commercial. So let's try to do that. And in order to do day to night, I need to figure out how I'm going to do this first. So in this note, and like I said, it's going to be pretty much about keyframing. It's going to be very straightforward. So in this uh, next um, note, I'm going to call this grade, and I'm going to do everything in one note. That way we kind of sort of can hurry up and wrap up with the project. So let me turn off the Lumumix. I'm going to bring down a little colors, or I should say exposure. We're pretty low and i'm just gonna give it a slight boost okay so i think that's that's good enough for our tutorial i probably may take a little bit okay so that looks great let's check it out before and after uh very nice you know in after effects we can add a little bit of flickering or something like that okay so that's good and let's say in my project whatever i'm doing i want to start from normal day shot and as camera zooms in let's say I want to do sort of the time lapse like that and let me go over here in the keyframe and basically we have corrector number one which is this one and corrector number two is our grade and what I'm gonna do in our grade let's say I want to start going day to night so I'm gonna go to the keyframe and I'm actually gonna do zero so our output is completely transparent so now i'm gonna go a little bit over here and i'm gonna click right over here in this little uh square okay it's basically gonna be auto keyframing and i'm gonna do a right click and i'm gonna select add dynamic keyframe okay so our dynamic keyframe added and I'm gonna go a little bit forward over here and I'm gonna increase the gain to, to one, which is 100%. And we can see that the keyframe automatically been added. So now if I'm gonna play this back, we can see that the keyframing is pretty much doing their job. And uh, I'm very sorry, I wanna apologize. You know, the shot is shaky, I didn't stabilize it or anything. I had really, really rough slider that day. But anyways, so let's see if we're gonna take it off. And now we pretty much have a nice transition day to night. And it's very basic, I guess, what I've done, but you get the point. In the future tutorials, I'm gonna cover more complex transitions and keyframing. But for now, I think, it should do the justice. I know a lot of you guys been asking me how to do keyframing and you know to to do more tutorials on that. So hopefully it answers some of you guys' questions. And I want to actually ask you if you guys have any cool footage that you would like me to color grade or do tutorials on it. Please send it to my email. I have all the information below. And in the near future, actually, I'm going to start doing more vlogging, and we're going to be talking about the the color spaces and camera related stuff including a lot of color grading materials too so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe check out my facebook page and i'll see you soon